Okay, so what we're looking at here is we have a hunk of rubber. Uh, it looks like some type of, uh, it looks like a tire material, but it's been siped. And what siping is, is they generally just cut it across and it creates uh, little grooves between and it helps the rubber to be able to grip when conditions are wet, icy, uh, etc. This one has not been siped. It's uh, to represent a tread block and it's just normal form without the siping. Then we've got a couple of weights. How much do you think those weights weigh? Five or so about five pounds or so so for visual effect because you can't feel we've got some rubber bands and we're gonna hook the rubber bands through that t-bar there and what I'm gonna do is I ought to do the other one first this is unrehearsed as you can see they've been kind enough to let me share this with you but as you hook that on there watch the way that the rubber bands will stretch as I pull on this So as I start to pull, they don't stretch very much at all. I can pull that really easily. Now, as I take it out and do the same thing on this other one, watch how far the rubber bands will stretch. And what that's indicating is the amount of grip that the siping adds to the rubber. So we'll hook that in there like this. Now watch how far these stretch. I'm going to have to hook my thumb because it just seriously does not want to move. Look at all the additional traction that siping gives you. Now I'm not doctoring this. I'm not doing anything you know, with trick photography or stretching it using computer graphics. It really grips that much better. It's pretty impressive. It's a great little device that was uh, developed by the Les Schwab company. You know the guys. Well, their business is earning your trust.